Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series, filmed live at the 2012 DIA Annual Meeting in Philadelphia, hosted by Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice. In this session, Taryn meets with Jim Murphy, President and Managing Director, Almac Clinical Technologies. Jim, welcome to the 2012 Annual DIA Editor's Take video program. Thanks for having me. Talk to us a little bit about what approach Almax Clinical Technologies business takes to meet the needs of sponsors who are running global trials. Well, we think of the needs of the sponsors as, as having many different categories, but we frame it in the context of making clinical trials work better for the patients, for the sites, and for the sponsors. So to do that, we have to first be in touch with the sponsors, the patients, and the sites. So we do a lot of focus groups and a lot of surveys and go out and meet with those folks. Then we apply the expertise that we've gained over years and years working in this space. But the key point is we look for how we can improve the workflows for each of those different users of our systems. Now the core focus of our business is to help manage patients and drug supply. And the way we do that for sites is by having flexibility of the different systems they can interact with, whether it be phone or web, making sure that they can choose the language they're most comfortable for, uh, making sure that the help desk, the tech support, is in their language and is available 24-7. That's done by our company in-house. We also look to figure out how we can provide better workflows to empower the relationship between the patient and the site. And this is a very important focus area for us as we've been looking to help with retention and engagement of patients by reminders and alerts that normally are very uh, administrative and difficult for the sites, but we're trying to clear up their time so that they can focus on the relationship of the patient, but not have to do all the administration. Um, for, the, for the actual patient, we try to make sure that the user interface that they interact with is as simple and straightforward as possible and the system always works. And then for the sponsor, it's a bit of all of the above. You know, they need the sites and the patients to be successful. So what we do is we make sure that we have systems that work all the time. We try everywhere we can to improve the sponsor workflows and give them the visibility to the data, the key data that's generated from those patients and those sites, and then make sure that we're pushing it into the internal systems at the sponsor organization. So by doing all of those things together, we help make the trial work better and help it be a more effective and successful clinical trial. Jim, how is the advent of strategic outsourcing impacting clinical supplies management? Strategic outsourcing has many forms, but one of the, one of the very uh, positive characteristics of strategic outsourcing in the supplies area is that it's allowed sponsors to empower the vendors to provide the insights and the consultative expertise. It's broken down silos within the sponsor organization and frankly it's helped break down silos on the vendor side as well. And it's allowed us to provide insights that span the entire globe and the regulatory considerations in all regions. It's allowed us to provide a cohesive, proactive plan um, that helps the planning for the supplies for an entire trial. Now we're able to look at the big picture and provide that picture and all the insights that come with it to the sponsor. Great. Jim, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Additional Editors Take videos, as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more are available in the resources area at www.pharmavoice.com.